It is 816 on a Thursday. He fled war torn South Sudan and spent 22 years in a refugee camp. Now, Lual Mayen is dedicating his life to developing video games that promote peace. I'm so happy to welcome the founder of Junub Games. I hope I pronounced it right. I asked you so many times during the commercial break, but good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be part of this conversation. It's, it's something amazing. Yeah. Please tell us <laughs> yeah. about your background and how you came up with this company. Yeah, for sure. Like, um, as, as you just mentioned, uh, my family had to flee South Sudan because of the war. And uh, it took them almost 250 miles, you know, for them to walk from a war-torn country. And um, it, it was it was really a very hard decision for them, especially for my family. You know, they were not people who just wake up in the morning and leave what they love. You know, when they were living in, um, in South Sudan because of the war, like a lot of people, you know, people were killed, people were like displaced. They left what they love and they had to find a place of refuge. As my family was fleeing the country, I was actually born on the way as my family was almost reaching uh, the place of refuge uh, between uh, northern Uganda and South Sudan. So I was born on the, on the way as my family was fleeing the war. So it was not an easy moment. And uh, for even my mother, you know, for, for her to give birth on the way and also carrying children, I have other siblings, it was just, it was, it was a journey of life and death. You know, it was a journey whereby it was just hard for them to become refugees. It was just hard for them to leave what they love. And uh, throughout my years, when I was living in the refugee camp, I had so many experiences. I have a lot of past. I have a lot of things that I felt that the world should understand. And a lot of people think about like refugees as a burden to the society, but they were not. You know, they, these are people that were that had to flee uh, because of war. And, 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 and living in the refugee camp, it wasn't easy for us. You know, there was no, you know, health, uh, you know, good health. There was no better education. There was like, it was just being like living in, in a dark room, a place that has been locked. And a lot of people think that, you know, we refugees are there for like a few years. I've lived there for like 22 years of my life. My family, I've lived there for like, 25 years and 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 that experience it, it was something that made me understand that you know if we don't have peace we, we don't live in a peaceful environment and then every day we see you know the world going through so much and that is why i realized that true peace is something that is built over time and that's why i thought about like making game for peace and conflict resolution how did gaming come into play amy hi I, did you used to, did you start picking up playing video games no, I remember, you know, uh, when I was living in a refugee camp, like, I, I never thought, like, video games are created by people. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought they were, you know, they were, they fall from heaven or something <laughs> like that because, like, there was no education. There was nothing that I could really imagine that I can be able to even go to school and, and, and develop video game. But I remember one day uh, when my mother spent three years uh, looking for $300 to buy for me a computer. So my friend installed for me a video game called Grand Theft Auto. So when I came, when I opened Grand Theft Auto and I played, mm -hmm. that moment, yeah, it was the moment that really, you know, the first thing that I thought was, wow, you know, games are so powerful. Games yeah. are something that can be able to engage people. If I did not play Grand Theft Auto, I wouldn't be making game today because I feel like games are not like movies where you sit on your couch and watch a movie. Yeah. You know, when, when, you, when you play a video game, you're making decisions. Yeah. And as I mentioned before, as, um, as this event coming up um, by uh, San, Di San Diego um, Diplomacy uh, Council, mm. you know, uh, this, is a, this is an event that bring people that are actually thinking about the power of video game and what video game can be able to do and contribute and bring communities together. So, and that's why I feel like games are really so powerful, yeah. you know, People are looking down on games, that, you know, game promote this, game does this, but they're really very powerful too that we can be able to use to bring the world closer together and be able to help people understand the experiences and even thinking about empathy. And that's why, like, you know, when I, when, when I first played the first game, I had to train myself how to code, I had to train myself everything when I was living in the refugee camp. Wow. I used to work three hours per day because I understood that there is a mission that I want to do. There's a, there's a, I want to create game that are going to help people to understand really 
what the world is going through. I love this so much. You're right, people do look down on games, but they really connect people from all over the world. You're using your cognitive skills, you're connecting. Now, Salam is the game you created. It's a high-tension runner game, and it puts players in the shoes of a refugee where they're forced to flee. Uh, you know, we're going to have to wrap soon, unfortunately. I can talk to you forever. Can you tell people where they can go to get more information on you, your game, and then obviously the panel, how video games are promoting peace and diplomacy? Yes, uh, for sure. Uh, you can go on my website, uh, genuegame.com, and uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the the conference is coming up tomorrow. It's, mm -hmm. it's really an amazing uh, conference, and I would love people to check it out tomorrow. Like it's it's going to be amazing, and we can have different conversations that are going to be going on. So I'm really excited for that. You are a smart, creative person, and we thank you. You're doing such great things. So keep it going, and don't let people bash video games. You stand up for them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you, Luan.